he was racing, he was driving fast. He hit a wall. It literally was two minutes away from his home. It's that easy just to, just to get killed in a car accident. He was so good looking. He had lots of friends, everyone, everyone who he met. So many people are affected by, yeah, like by that one effect. person. We saw him every day, whether he was in the gym, whether he was working, or giving us a lift home. He made me roses and flowers out of napkins. And I have it in a box now. And it's just like, I'll be fine. And then I'll just see the box in the corner of my eye. And that will just completely set me off. He was my inspiration. The only thing that I could think about. So I wrote a song about him. The message is not about David dying, but who he's left behind grieving. Small things like what we used to do or things we used to have a laugh about just hits you and then Silly little brings things. it back. Yeah. It needed something like this song to build everyone up again, really, because it is really, it's emotive, but it's also quite positive at the same yeah. time. Yeah. It's an upbeat song, and I think that's the kind of music he was into, so it made it even worse. Yeah. I, I had to cry my eyes out. I still do every time I hear it. Yeah. I hope that people listen to it and hear the pain that we've all gone through from the loss of David's life and I hope it slows people down. He was six foot something and we called him day and every time he smiled he took my breath away. He was so nice to look at and I always stared but everybody said to so I never cared. He had a heart of gold, such a I couldn't bring myself to think about it. I've never felt like that before. I was just shaking. I broke down. It was horrible. And now I'm going to work and I don't see your face and I see that your job.
people think, oh, it never happened to me. Like, I'm sure David didn't think it was going to happen to him and it happened like that. My brother was close friends with Dane, he's similar age, and he's the same, got the type of, you know, souped up car and everything. Yeah. But the effect it's had on him, you know, and his friends, he was, wouldn't even get in the car. It's not clever, it's stupid. And they're not impressing. You know, they're not impressed no. by it. There's so many lads that do it, yeah. and there has been so many deaths. And it's not like Day was the first, because yeah. he's he's not, no, and he well, definitely won't be the last. No. And it just, I'm so I'm angry with Day for doing it. Not only is it their life they're putting at risk, but it could be other people's lives, and then that's more people who have died, and more people like me and David's friends and family that are grieving for him. It's just not worth it. It's just pointless. I don't know what to say, I just want to say so much, it's just slow down, it's really not worth it.